Hello, I am Doug with Thriving Happily Ever After, and today, like many YouTubers, we're going to talk about blank tanks. Why do we talk about blank tanks so much? Well, because now you're living with your stuff, and uh, specifically today, I'm going to talk about the inaccuracies of black tank gauges. If you've uh, been RVing for any length of time or are simply looking for an RV, you've probably heard that the gauges can tend to be notoriously inaccurate. Since I have a motorcycle and automobile racing background, as well as being a professional motorcyclist for over two decades, uh, the status quo wasn't enough, so I set about figuring out a way to at least clear out the gauges on my black tank when I dump them, because I want to know uh, how much stuff I have in there, and I don't want to be guessing. I'm going to show you what I've discovered and what seems to be working for us for now three years, and all you're going to need is a place to dump your tanks, and a five gallon bucket and I'll show you how. So now we're inside our rig and I'm going to show you where our black tank levels are right now if I can see it and we're showing at two-thirds so what I know is if you can see that if you know if uh, if you know how they work it could be just one-third and barely over and reading two-thirds Hard to say, but I did put extra liquid in there uh, in prep for really cleaning this thing out before we go on our next trip. So that's where we're sitting at now. And we're just going to dump the valve right now and come back and see where it sits. Okay, so we're here back towards the dump valve. And uh, by the way, we're very blessed. We actually have a uh, sewer connection here at home, so uh, it makes it very convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this valve. So I have some serious sludge in there. The last time out, we didn't fully uh, dump the tanks, hoping to kind of move things around because it was a little too premature. Uh, we found that uh, if you're dumping like every day at camp, um, the paper and things like that don't have a chance to kind of break down. This is a disgusting subject, isn't it? Uh, so uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do a normal black tank flush. You saw where the gauges were, and I'm going to go ahead and just give it a flush using our black tank flush system that came with the rig, and we'll go from there. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, uh, drop the blank ta black tank and uh, let's see where the gauges end up um, with just a straight dump. I did run the uh, the uh, the cleaner a little bit uh, just to get things kind of moving, uh, but uh, let's see where the gauges sit, okay? Okay, I'm going to go check the gauge now and uh, the gauge is still showing that we have one third tank in there. So this is where this fix is going to come in handy for you. Uh, let's go back out and, and do the drill. See you there. So the procedure I'm about to show you is going to require you to get some sort of a baseline. That's the purpose of this five gallon bucket. What I'm going to do with the bucket is I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to time it to see how many seconds it takes to fill up a five gallon bucket. And that's going to give us a baseline. And we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, why that is. Okay, so as you can see, we filled this five gallon bucket up. It took 45 seconds with uh, my regulator set at 40 pounds per square inch. I have an adjustable Renator regulator. So I know it takes 45 seconds to insert five gallons of water into the black tank through the tank flush. Now here's why this is important. Now I know that I have a 33 gallon black tank. And this is important to know because what I'm about to show you involves filling up the black tank quite a bit to try to catch any of those extra things that are floating around and causing the gauges to read incorrectly. So I've gone as long as a minute and a half and now I know uh, that it was getting to be about uh, just 10 gallons of water in a minute and a half. And really that's all it's ever taken me. So I don't think you need to take it to the extreme. But let's find out how this works. So we know 45 seconds, uh, we're getting about uh, 
five gallons of water. So let's go a minute and a half and uh, let's dump the uh, gauges again or dump the uh, tank again and let's find out what we got. Uh, well, you know, I really should say um, that what you want to do is kind of do this uh, repeatedly. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, so just doing it once isn't really how I do it or have been doing it. Uh, before I go back and check the gauges, uh, what I've been doing is doing cycles and sometimes three or four and sometimes five cycles, depending on how I feel about it and what kind of time I have. So, uh, yeah, again, uh, we know that 45 seconds, uh, we filled up five gallons uh, of water. We know that I've run as long as a minute and a half, which means I've run 10 gallons back into the uh, black tank, our black tank, which holds 33 gallons. So really we're only a, a third full at that point when I'm dumping and flushing again. So. Uh, that's kind of where the magic happens. Uh, it seems like most of the stuff is uh, getting caught towards the lower uh, half of the black tank. So um, we've always been able to catch it and get zeroed out on our tank uh, just doing that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run for a minute and a half and uh, and see what that uh, yields us. We're going to run a minute and a half uh, on uh, several cycles. I'm going to do uh, three or four cycles because I want to really do a super big cleaning on this, you don't gotta watch all this, but I'll let you know how it all turns out, okay? So a minute and a half times three or four cycles, I'll let you know when I'm done. I'll get back with you then. All right, I've just I've just run cycle one, and uh, what I found was uh, a lot of sediment coming out, um, even after running a minute and a half, or probably at least 10 gallons of water put back into the tank through the tank, black tank flush. Uh, so uh, still things coming out. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple of things. It's been about uh, a month since we've been out, and I know that we, uh, you know, didn't want to dump our tanks because of the timing the last time out. So I'm going to do an extra clean. You may want to do this or may not want to do this, but what I am doing is I'm finding sediment coming out. Now, part of the reason you want to fill these things up a little bit is uh, the more water pressure you have, the more it's going to start flushing that stuff out, and that's really going to pay out. In uh, dividends when it comes to the odors emitting from your tank or uh, well the motors <laughs> emitting from your tank when you just come in to uh, put things together when you're leaving again you're gonna notice there's a problem but uh, uh, and if it's stored and especially in a hot environment you're gonna see you have a problem you're gonna smell you have a problem right off the bat uh, because uh, the black tank is just simply not flushed out correctly again I have a benefit here I can do this at home uh, but at the very least you can be doing this uh, at a, uh, at a park or wherever you're staying or wherever you dump your tanks, uh, but you definitely want to go through a few cycles. So I'm going to do uh, two or three more cycles till I start seeing that water come out clear, and uh, then we're going to have a look at the gauges. So I'm, again, I'm going to run about a minute and a half or 10 gallons of water, still only a third filled on the black tank uh, as it applies to this particular rig at 33 gallons. So I'll get back to you when, I, uh, when I'm done, because who wants to watch all this? All right, I ran through the uh, third and fourth uh, cycles, and uh, I think maybe even fifth. Uh, what I did in the last two is I kind of pushed the envelope a little bit and went ahead and went to uh, two minutes, 15 seconds, meaning somewhere in the neighborhood of th uh, 15 gallons was going into my 33-gallon tank. And what I found is actually a couple of little things still kept kind of floating out. So um, I know that they make uh, these wands, you can get that you can come in through the uh, commode side and kind of spray the entry and exit uh, or the direct entry into the black tank obviously the commode and uh, I have one I haven't done it yet but it comes highly recommended and I'd certainly uh, recommend it after what I found just going to uh, maybe half full trying to drive everything out uh, the other thing could be that just have a, a lot of water coming through and now things that maybe were stuck before uh, are coming loose because of multiple cycles now, the only reason I'm going through so many cycles really is uh, because it's been sitting here for a month and I knew it had uh, uh, things in it. And I, like I said at the beginning, um, it was a little too early to pull the tanks uh, at the uh, campground we were at. Uh, we found that is kind of a problem if you don't let things kind of uh, work themselves out as it were. <laughs> so uh, I can't believe I'm talking about this. But, uh, but anyway, so uh, one last thing um, before we go look and see where the levels are sitting. Uh, is that I like to uh, leave the uh, flush going uh, before I close it out. So if something does kind of ride up to the uh, 
to the valve down here. Uh, it doesn't get stuck with in, in between the blade. Um, I should also add that I do have a 45 degree clear down here. I didn't think anybody needed to see that. Um, but uh, that helps uh, that that's, it helps a, a ton as far as trying to get an idea of what's going on. I didn't always have one of those. I had one at the far end, but uh, you know the message is not being sent until the end of the story, as it were. So uh, anyway, so I'm just running the flush right now, and uh, I'm going to shut the valve and I'm going to turn off uh, the water to it. It gives it a little while to get a little water in it, because after I'm done with everything else, I'm going to dump some. Uh, uh, disinfectant, some tablets in there, some enzymes, uh, just to kind of set everything in place. And uh, we should be pretty much ready for our next trip here at the end, uh, end of the month. Um, I'll get to that. We'll talk soon. Okay, so here we are back inside the rig, and we're going to check our tank levels after running some of the uh, flushes that we talked about. And so let's see how we're doing. So uh, here's our black tank. And we're showing empty here, whereas before we were showing one third up or the first or second mark up, and now it is down. Again, this was after running a series of flushes, bringing up the level and kind of letting things wash away, kind of letting things get to the area where there might be things catching. So uh, we went there and did that. Uh, of course, here's our gray, and uh, we're showing one there. Uh, fresh is theoretically uh, one-third full. I'm sure it's a little bit less at this point. Uh, another video on that later. And uh, of course the battery is showing full with four marks. So again fresh at uh, one-third and uh, our black at one once again after those series of flushes I showed you. And of course our gray tank sitting at one as well. So the last piece of advice I'd give you is that uh, if when you're using your commode, particularly when you're using it with uh, paper, toilet paper, you want to make sure you fill this bowl up. This is really, really important. You see we're keeping a little water here for storage and that's fine. That keeps all the possible smells that are down there at bay. Can't get through the water. The other thing that does for you is uh, keeps that seal moist and nice. So when you're getting ready to actually use this thing, uh, you really want to fill up this bowl, and you're going to see visually what a difference that makes. If, you know, I just ran a bunch of paper uh, down there um, the way it was. It wouldn't have done, uh, wouldn't have been as uh, successful. So now I got, you know, basically, I don't know, maybe a third of a gallon or something of that nature. It's up pretty high. Some people recommend a little higher. You be the judge of what kind of things you're trying to get rid of. And then you see how strong that is just going down. Uh, really moves the material and uh, makes things a lot better for uh, for the flesh. And, uh, and of course again begins to start that breakdown period. So I'm going to fill that up and I'm going to say goodbye without looking at the commode. So there you have it. I hope you found the information contained within the video to be helpful and useful in your daily travels. And I ask you to please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And I leave you with, may God bless you with safe travels and fair weather. And may you always be thriving happily ever after. Bye now.